Hey everybody and welcome to Carrot Kids' Kitchen. Today we are going to be making barbecue pork ribs because as you saw with the <laughs> scrambled egg chicken noodle omelet taco my kids made, I need to go and get some groceries. <laughs> We're just using up what we had until I had my day off. And Anyway, so I was going through the ads, super excited, because pork rib was on sale. I'm like, yes, we haven't had ribs in forever. $1.89 pound, you can't beat that. So we got two big, big things of pork rib here that I'm going to be opening up and preparing to cook. Maybe. Have you guys seen those knife challenges? Where people light the knife and get hot, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, my oldest son outside, you know. Teenager. Thought it would be fun to do that to my knife. My very expensive, you can't very well see it, knife. That's almost $200. Yeah, so now it's great. Anyways, here we go. I'm going to tilt it. I'm try to cut the top so the water and the juice in it. Does it run all over the place? And I'm going to try to just slide this into here. Oh, oh, you see it's nice and fresh, all that blood coming out. Okay, I'm going to take this one and put it up a little. Up, ah, or drop it on the back of the pan. Stay. It looks like it's touching the oven, but it's not. It's on the pan. And then we're going to marinate and cook this with none other than Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. This is brand new. Just got it at Walmart today. Because when I got the ribs yesterday, I completely forgot to get the sauce for today. I'm like, really? How did you do that? Anyways. So I'm going to put just a little bit in here. You notice I'm not... Ah, a little bit. Half a bottle later. You notice I'm not using water. There's water for the meat. Oh, oh, maybe it did touch the oven. Oop, I'm going to have to sanitize that. Anyways. There's water from the meat that it will come out as it cooks. And so it keeps your sauce nice. And it doesn't get real watery. I'm going to use this whole thing. That's why I'm not really worried about my fingers touching the meat and stuff. I'll wash, wash them in the end. So this, pa this pan is a turkey pan. And it's... It's going to look kind of like dirty, but it's not dirty. It's scorched or I can't explain what I'm trying to say, but it has that I've cooked with it multiple times look to it. So I'm going to tilt this up and that's part of the pan. That's it's just how it is. And you can see the barbecue sauce in there, hopefully. And then the meat, I'm going to put not half a bottle. I'm going to put a little bit on top of it like that. Yeah, I did better that time. About half a bottle. So it looks like that. Because I'm going to take this second one and put it right on top. Because when meat cooks, we all know that it shrinks and it cooks down. So I'm going to be slow cooking this. So I'm going to separate them after they're done cooking. Because they're going to slow cook and they'll pull right apart. So I'm not worried about stacking them right now. Because I'm going to end up covering it with the lid. So it'll get up through there. And then later, as they're cooking, I will move them around and get them separated more. Ah, don't cut yourself. There. This one didn't want to go through. Oops, sorry. Oh, it's sharp. It just, I don't know why. This is an awesome knife. It's super sharp. But, I don't know if you can see the, the tip of it. There is no tip to, like, stab into it. So that's why I had to give it a little oof. <laughs> okay, I'm going to set that right there. Try not to spill this. I did pretty good with the other one. Minus I touched the stove that I'm going to have to clean with. Clean it up with later. Oh. Okay, here it comes. Tried to do it over the garbage can. Oh yeah, that's a... Look how big that is. That's awesome. Okay, the big thick end of oh, the last one's up this way. So I'm going to put the other one this way. Wow, that was bigger than the last one. 
What is that? It's not, it's not worms. Okay. <laughs> I know what they say about pork and Coca-Cola. That's just about the bunch of myths. It's a piece of the string that they held the meat up with. It's string. So, I guess there's a little piece in there. You know, when you're cooking, you always want to inspect and check your meat. Never know. There can be strings in it, as you saw. And then I'm going to take the rest of this and just coat it. When I use Sweet Baby Ray's, I don't usually ever have to add salt or pepper or any of that. The spices and seasonings that they use are pretty good. I'm going to carefully put that on. I'm going to take a Lysol sanitizing cloth and wipe the outside off so that it's nice and clean and sanitary along with the lid and the back of the stove. Wash the knife and clean the entire countertop uh, while this cooks. That way if the kids want some extra barbecue, this will be nice and clean and food safe for them to be able to pour some on. There should be enough barbecue in it already. I'm going to move this out of the way. Try to show you all. Whoa! See how nice and coated it is? Okay. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Well, as I saw, you said say A, B, C, something. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, L, S, W, R, S, H, I, J, K, P, P, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, C, U, V, W, S, Y, Z, Z, that's how good you sing with me. Ow, 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 hot, hot, hot water, hot water. The water's hot. Oh, super hot. Okay. I'm going to carefully take the edge of this knife where I didn't touch and place it over there to be washed. I'm going to put the lid on my pan, slide this over. And then I'm going to try to remember how to use my oven. There we go. No. No. Cancel. Bake. Three fi no, I don't want 350. I want to do 200 to slow cook it. And we'll do 250. Okay. Slide that over. And then it's 100 degrees right now in my oven. I don't think you can see it. Oh, I didn't, didn't realize y'all couldn't see it. That's at 100 degrees. So we're going to preheat this until it gets to 250. Wow, my makeup looks crazy. Blah. Anyway, and then once it reaches 250, we are going to put it in and let it cook for, I'm going to say, what time is it? I have no idea. I'm not even going to act like I know. 9 or 10 a.m.? I'll probably let it slow cook until about eh, 7, 7 o'clock tonight. That way it's nice and tender. I'll check on it. Like I said, make sure the metal's cooking. Flip them over. It should tear right apart. And they'll shrink down. And this is going to be a great meal for my four kids ages 15, 11, 7, and 5. I might make some baked beans or some macaroni salad. Or maybe just do some side salad with it. You know, just whatever. We like using up what we have around the house a lot. So I plan like my main dishes for breakfast and lunch and dinner. And then for sides, once in a while, I'll make sure, you know, I specifically buy something for it. But we, we're more creative, if you will. And we like to say, ooh, while we have oranges and bananas, let's make a fruit salad with it. We kind of do that stuff. It helps keep waste down. And use up everything and keep things fresh. And it adds a little variety. And lets the kids be creative. So, this has been Cookie with Carrie and Kids in our kitchen. I hope everybody enjoys and has a great day. I welcome your comments. What are you guys going to be eating today? Uh, suggestions you might have. Maybe not to zoom, zoom so much. <laughs> um, as far as uh, the video itself or food ideas. Uh, what are some things you'd like to see? What meals are you interested in seeing cooked? I'd, I love trying new recipes. Feel free to comment with the name of a recipe and the ingredients. And if my kids, most of them like it, not all of them are always going to like what's for dinner, you know, or breakfast or lunch. But if most of them like it, we'll do it and show you it. All right, thanks again for watching. Hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're not already a part of our family. Have a great day, everyone.